things that you've alluded to before about his unhappiness with some of the things that Disney has done. Uh, he, you know, he sold them his screenplays and they weren't interested in them. And um, I think that, uh, that the idea of selling <laughs> to yeah. Disney, I think was a, that was a brilliant idea in the sense of, of legacy because his kids aren't interested in it. And if you want it to survive off into the future, that's the way to have it stay alive because it, imagine what would happen if just he, you know, he passed away and all this stuff sitting out of the ranch and in, in boxes and right. uh, what, what's going to, I don't think that would have happened. I don't know. I, I just, I just feel like that would never have, I feel like there would have been someone that would have been, I don't know, I feel like Dave, he would have appointed Dave Filoni or something, you know, as head of, I, I don't know, maybe he would have come in there and handled everything from there on. And, and Dave Filoni would uh, give it to someone when he got very old and was done with it. And uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like it would have gone the way that it did. I almost, I read Bob Iger's um, book and I got to say, I wasn't really interested with, I wasn't in favor of the way that he kind of pitched the idea of buying Lucasfilm from George. I mean, he closed the Disneyland park, brought George in for lunch or whatever. And I was like, you know, you don't have any heirs. You, you're kind of getting old. I mean, this is the gist of what he was saying. And right. I didn't enjoy that. I, I mean, it, it was almost felt like Palpatine was coercing Anakin, like talking to Anakin at this point. And it was just kind of strange to me. And it seems like because Bob, you know, did a few favors for George with the, the Indiana Jones uh, show in the nineties or in the late eighties that George kind of felt, you know, maybe indebted to him. Well, George always had an affinity for Disneyland and Disney. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, at one time, there was an idea that, well, there could be a Lucasland kind of thing. We used to joke about it. But George knew that the company that was best suited to do the rides and all those things, like I worked on Star Tours, that that famous it's a know, great ride. ride. Yeah, it was yeah, a, it's a, awesome. Well-written, uh, you know, cool idea. Yeah. Um, but he knew that though those that was the group to do it, and that was the place to do it because the infrastructure that Disney had built up over decades, and so I think that's why he why he went with them. He always admired their ability. Yeah. But um, you, when you wake up one day and now you've gone from master of the universe to they don't want to <laughs> they don't want to listen to you and they don't have to uh you know that's hard for anybody but that happens to a lot of artists and thank god he walked away uh you know uh more than solvent he's building a fabulous museum yeah. in los angeles that looks like a spaceship 